New York City. May 4th, 2015. At TechCrunch Disrupt New York, an annual new technologies conference, US biotech startup BioBots launches a desktop 3D printer for biomaterials, which they use to print a replica of Van Gogh's ear. Instead of plastic, special ink is combined with biomaterials, like collagen and cultured cells, to build living tissue and human organs. So right now, we're just at the beginning of understanding how to 3D print organs. It's a process called biofabrication. So BioBots has created a biofabrication 3D printer that can print artificial tissue and small organs. In the future, what we're going to see are 3D printers that are biofabricating our bodies and our organs. You could eventually have printable noses, lungs, ears, kidneys, and in certain ways, this technology is so extreme that it could make it democratic, it could make it inexpensive. So in the hands of skilled, trained medical professionals, it could be possible in the future to 3D print organs for people out of their own genetic material. Transhumanists believe we may soon transcend our biological limitations as we embed machines directly into our own bodies. DARPA, the agency of the U.S. Department of Defense, responsible for the development of emerging technologies for use by the military, is currently designing neural implants that will improve cognitive speed and memory retention in soldiers. And in 2014, scientists at Seoul National University in South Korea unveiled research on synthetic smart skin, lifelike ultra-thin crystalline silicon designed to cover prosthetic limbs, giving the user all of the sensations of a natural limb. They've now developed uh, a skin which has touch sensors embedded in it with a very fine matrix which can be put around a prosthetic so you can actually feel what that arm is feeling or you can touch the floor feel whether it's hot or cold or applying pressure future artificial limbs will look just like our skin look just like our hands and our legs it's going to affect the entire world we're going to see people using smart prosthetics that are added to the body that can be controlled directly through the brain. And that really is the future of prosthetics. I can speak from experience because I've had one myself. Our implants that link either into the brain or into the human nervous system. And what I had was 100 small electrodes fired into my nervous system to link my nervous system with a computer. It was a bit like plugging a plug into an electric socket, but the socket was my nervous system. So I went to Columbia University in New York. We plugged my nervous system into the internet and I controlled a robot hand from my brain signals. Uh, you can extend your nervous system by simply plugging into it. If we can use just the power of our thoughts to control artificial limbs, we can eventually one day use the power of our thoughts to control avatar robots.